Hi friends, welcome back to a new video here on my channel. As you can tell by the title of the video, today we're going to be stuffing me and my boyfriend's stimulus checks. Also, I do want to apologize in advance because the maintenance workers have been outside of our apartment complex working all day. So if you hear them, I do apologize. But other than that, let's just get straight into the video. So me and my boyfriend each got a stimulus check. So that totaled up to $2,800. And as you can see, we've split it into a lot of different categories. The first category that we have is car repairs. And that is going to be for my car. And that got $100. We're not going to be stuffing this today because I've already paid it. So the other day I went and got an oil change. I actually got it for free at my dealership. I got this letter in the mail and they were basically asking me to consider trading in my vehicle for a different one. And they had mentioned that if I at least came in and talked to them, I would get a free oil change. So I went in and talked to them. I was not intending to trade my car and I didn't. But because I went in and talked with them, I got my free oil change. I got that done on Tuesday of this week. And they also reviewed my car for other things that they felt needed to be done. And that included, I honestly can't even remember. But there were a few things on there. So I took that and I showed it to my uncles because I trust them a lot more than I do the dealership. And so we got all of the work done that I needed for like, probably half the price or less and the reason that it was only a hundred dollars is because this 100 dollars is just what i paid my uncle for doing all of the work the actual amount that the actual parts cost came out of my boyfriend's paycheck from his second job which we don't count in our budget but that is how i bought the parts for the car and then again the hundred dollars was just what i paid my uncle so we're not going to set that today. And then next we have truck repairs for $200. So my boyfriend is going to get $200 to do some things for his truck. This was one of the things where when I found out we were going to be getting the money, we had a conversation about what he wanted out of it, what I wanted out of it. And we just wanted to make sure we were on the same track when it comes to our goals. And that was just one of the things that he said he wanted. So that's that. And then next we have savings, which is going to get $485. So before I put in the $485, there was $190. And we are not going to be stuffing this either because I already transferred it over into our savings account. So now our savings account is at a balance of $675. Even though this is our number one focus for right now, I didn't completely build it back up to $1,000 because... We have plans to add additional amounts at the end of the month with our regular budget. So that's why I only put $485, but we'll get more into that in the regular weekly video that I'm gonna be posting this Saturday. So that was that. And then after that, I have travel, which is for our trip that we have planned in May. We're gonna be going to Boston and New York. So we're gonna be putting aside $843 today. Then we're going to fill some other sinking funds that we have. We're going to be putting $40 into our Christmas fund and also into our wedding rings fund. And then we're only going to be 20, putting $20 into our wedding fund. Then after that, we have debt, which is going to get $572. This we are also not going to be stuffing because I did already make that payment online. The entire $572 went to my Victoria's Secrets credit card. And that was because before this payment today, I was at like a 75% utilization rate, which really, really affects my credit. So I wanted to focus on this first and get it under 25% and then put that debt back into the list that it belongs. I'm not sure if, that, if that's making sense. So it's not completely paid off. There is still a, a balance, but because we have debts with a much higher interest rate, we are now going to be focusing on those debts. I really hope that made sense. If not, I can definitely clarify some more. And then next we have a massage appointment and that is getting $100. So for those of you who have been watching my videos and are aware, we do have like a small weekend trip planned for next week. So we're going to be going to Forest Bend, Antelope Canyon, the Grand Canyon, and we're going to be spending a night 
in Flagstaff. So this is all Northern Arizona. So my aunt that lives in Flagstaff, she actually posted on Facebook, um, just promoting her business. And I have actually been really wanting to get a massage, like a really good massage. I really feel like I need it. And to be honest, I think that I deserve it. So I scheduled an appointment with her. It is $80 for one hour, but I'm pretty sure you're supposed to tip when you get a massage. I've never had one done. So I, I think that's what you're supposed to do. So I put a hundred dollars aside, but yeah, that is what I am planning to do with that $100. And shameless plug, if you are located in Flagstaff or you ever find yourself in Flagstaff, I would recommend checking her out. I will leave her information down below in the description box. And then last but definitely not least is going to be donations and that is going to get $400. We already know exactly what we're going to be doing with this, but for people's privacy, I'm not going to share too much on that. Um, I know $400 sounds like a lot, but when you really compare it to the $2,800 that we received, it's less than 15%. So doing that comparison really helped me realize that it isn't too much. And when we received this money, I was thinking about our financial goals. And in the financial goals video that I did do, I'll link it up here if you haven't seen it. I forgot to mention that one of our goals for this year is to donate more. But that is something that's very important to us. And so that is one thing that we wanted to make sure we included in this extra money we received. So that is what we have planned for our stimulus check. So now that we've gone over the numbers, let's get to stuffing the cash envelopes. Okay, again, so we're not going to be stuffing the entire $2,800. Today, what we are going to be stuffing is going to be $1,643. So the first envelope that we're going to be stuffing is going to be donations, and that is going to get $400. Next is going to be Christmas, and that is going to get $40. As you can see, we don't have anything stuffed in here yet. We are planning to stuff $120 later on in the month. And as you can see, we've used this, we used this tracker last year, I believe. Um, I, I am going to have to print some new ones out, but until then, we'll just use this. Next we have wedding rings and that is going to get $40. And this has $20 in it, but I do not remember stuffing $20 in there. Um, yeah, I have no idea what's going on with that. I just, I don't know. So we have 60 though, so that's nice. This we also will be stuffing one more time at the end of this month. And then next we have vehicle maintenance. So this is going to get $200 for my boyfriend's truck. There is a tracker in here as well, but I'm not going to fill it out because he also uses money from his second job. So I don't even know what he's got planned. So I'm not going to fill that out. Next is going to be wedding. I don't have an envelope for wedding and this one just wasn't assigned to anything. So I'm just gonna put the $20 in here for now. Next we have travel and this is going to get a total of $943. 
So $100 is going to go towards the, my massage appointments and then the remaining $843 is gonna go towards our trip to Boston. So we have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 820, 840, and 843. And this is going to take care of both of our hotels, one for Boston, one for New York. I believe the total for the hotels was like $630 or something like that. So this will cover all of the hotels and a little bit of the food. I don't have a tracker just yet for the travel, like one that I can fill out or color in, but I will probably make one for this because we're gonna be stuffing it a few more times and I want to see the overall progress. Um, yeah, we're gonna stuff this again one more time for this month, later on in the month. I'm gonna put $943. And then the 100 for the massage appointment I have is going to be all in fives, which leaves us with nothing. So I'm just going to put this thing on here that way I so I'm just gonna put this in here that way I know that this money is separate from the Boston money oh this envelope got thick real quick so yeah, those are all of the envelopes that we are gonna be stuffing today. I wanna quickly go back into my bullet journal and show you guys a few things. So at the end of the month, we are planning to put in $305 into our emergency funds, our savings. So that is why we only added $485 towards the savings because the 190 that's in there plus the 485 plus the $20 that we monthly put into it, plus the 305 that we're gonna do here, that is going to equal the $1,000 goal that we are working towards. Same thing um, with our debt. I was okay with only putting 500, how much was it? $572 towards debt, because we, are also, we also have this $304 that we were planning to put towards debt at the end of the month. But now instead of putting it towards the Victoria's Secret credit card, we are next going to throw this at my boyfriend's personal loan because the interest rate on that is ridiculously high. So that is what that is going towards. And then again, $305 for our travel for our Boston trip is going to get thrown on top of the 843 we did today. I just wanted to show you guys a little bit more about why I kind of chose the numbers that I did. But since we did fulfill one goal, I do want to fill this part out. So you see here, this is something that we were gonna look at at the end of the month. So one of the goals here was to have an estimated balance of my credit card of $555. That was going to be with only the $304. But since we did pay that down, we are now going to write the actual balance that we are leaving my credit card at, which is going to be $287, which again is the 25% um, utilization rate. So I know it may not like really seem like it or sound like it, but I'm actually really excited about this because this has been a debt we have been trying to focus on for I feel like a long time. And I'm really excited to see how it affects my credit score by seeing how much it'll go up because it definitely should make it go up. That is going to be pretty much it for this video. Um, I really hope that you guys have got your stimulus checks and if you did, comment down below, you know, what you're planning to do with it. If that's too personal though, don't worry about it. I will be posting the weekly cash envelope stuffing and budget update on Saturday morning, which I will also, which is where I will also be announcing this week's giveaway winner. Um, and as a reminder, if you have not entered yet, or if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll link the video for that up above where you can watch and enter because that does end tonight at midnight.
Thanks for hanging out with me today and I'll see you soon.